Right, let's have a go at this one then. y minus 2x to the power 4 is question 5. So we need to go down to the fourth row of Pascal's triangle. 1, 3, 3, 1. That's the zeroth row. That's why I say the fourth row. 6, 4, 1. So there it is there. Here the first term is y, so descend the powers of y from to the 4. We don't need brackets. y cubed, y squared, and y to the 1, because it's just a single term. Then the term on the right is minus 2x, isn't it? So I'll take that, that bundle and put it in a bracket, and it's that to the 4. Then it's that bundle cubed. Then it's that squared. And then it's that just to the power 1, which is the object itself. So let's combine the terms then to find out what the answer is. It's that one, that one this one, this one, and this one here. So we're going to get five terms, aren't we? So it's equal to then, the first one is just 1 times y to the power 4, which is y to the 4. Next one, minus 2 times a 4 is minus 8. We've got an x to the power 1, which is just an x, and then we've got a y cubed. Next one, we've got minus 2 squared, which is 4, times 6, which is plus 24, 6 4 is 24. We've got an x squared when we expand this, haven't we? And we've also got a y squared. Next one. We've got a minus 2x cubed, so that results in a minus 2 cubed, so we'll get a minus here. 2 cubed is 8, 8 4 is 32, so the number is 32. We've got an x cubed that will come out, haven't we? And we've got a y on its a single power y. Then the last term is just one lot of this. So minus 2x to the 4 is just minus 2 to the 4, which is going to be plus. And 2 to the 4 is 16. And then it's just x to the 4, isn't it? There we go. Uh, that's uh, that one done. Great.